I'm young until I hit 30, and then it's all over for me. <laughs> I have to show you, I got my stream deck set up. Look at this. Just with a click of the button, I can switch between scenes. <sighs> all right. So for the next week, I'm going to be focusing on cloud paintings. All right, I'm gonna do like, I guess kind of a purple one. I thought it was really funny. <gasps> Omni! Can you draw a polka dot bow tie? I absolutely can. Omni boy, thank you so much for the raid and for the doodle. This is gonna be really interesting to see what happens here. And then we have like a gray. Like it just kind of fades down to a true gray here. That's really dark though. A true gray, like a lighter gray. Maybe not a true gray. Well, it's okay. I'll, I'll just keep adding stuff. Doesn't have to be perfect. And then we have a darker gray down here that also has reflections from the sky into it. Whispers, gnome, pick up some shade cloth on the way home so Soups can open her window without becoming luminescent. I am a bad lurker too. It's hard to lurk well. When I lurk, like, I feel like sometimes I just have to like do something else because I'll chat. It is super hard to lurk in this channel. If I have to actually, like, seriously get work done, I have to mute the tab. <laughs> and I'd make it worse, because I just called out Lindsay from her lurk. I didn't mean to, but I accidentally did, and then she came back. I think my hair is too long right now. Like, I do need to get it cut. Sorry for the derail of, of the art piece, but, like, this is how long my hair is. Sorry, it's all messy, but this is how long my hair is right now. Like, you know, that long. I will probably cut it to my like my chin length maybe or maybe a little bit longer like brushing the tops of my shoulders i just need to make an appointment and go do it i haven't had a cut in um over a year now i think when was the last time i got a cut maybe last july so yeah about a year i shaved my head partly to have a decent 11 costume for halloween years ago okay so part of the reason that i would want to shave my head is because I would there's two costumes I would want to do one is um Ilea from Star Trek the motion picture she has a shaved head in the movie and I feel like it would be amazing if I could do that it would be perfect for those of you who don't know my name is Ilea IRL so if I could cosplay as Ilea from the motion picture I feel like that would be amazing hair grows back even if you regret it at least you'll know if you don't cut it, you'll spend the rest of your life always wondering what it will look like, which is a waste of mental energy. See, I agree with you. I agree. Gnome is really supportive of my my hair stuff, which I do really appreciate. People who don't support support their <laughs> their partner's hair adventures always weirds me out. That's how I kind of felt like when um when Gnome had the beard and he was gonna shave for 500 followers. Um, is that so many people were asking me like what I thought and if I like if I wished that he hadn't shaved it or like oh finally shaving his beard you know I was like I'm supportive of what my partner wants to do with their hair and facial hair I would want somebody to support that about me and I would be so pissed if like you know and it's gonna happen like if I shave my head and if people are asking him oh do you wish that she hadn't shaved your head do you think she looked better with long hair or with a shaved head? Which do you prefer? Like, that's rude to me. <laughs> Let's get a new question. We've had the same question up for so long. If you could freeze time, what would you do? I think freezing time would only come in handy for boring stuff like running late for a doctor's appointment. Um, that's true. I would just be late as long as I got tacos. If I could freeze time, I'd carry around loads of language books. So when someone speaks to me in another language, I can spend as long as I like looking up what they said, thinking of response, making it the correct accent. Bing, bang, boom. Fluent in every language, cheat style. I like that you're not spending your frozen time to learn other languages, just to look up how to say things in other languages. Learning is for chumps. Puts on sunglasses upside down. This is, this is um, Tom Hollow right now but with sunglasses. This hurts my eyes. All right, y'all, we're almost done here-ish, kind of. Do you hit a wall at all with art wall streaming? No matter what projects I'm doing, I always hit a big wall, which is really difficult to get past. Do you think streaming your work helps with that? Yes, I hit 
a wall a lot. But okay, so when I first started streaming, pretty much any project that I got to, I would have a moment where I would think, I, I guess I don't know exactly what your wall looks like, but mine was, I would get to a point and I would think, I will not be able to make this look good. For me, having chat really helped because in like having a stream and like having something that I was focusing on, and people that were encouraging to me. That was when we added the trust command. It says, take a deep breath, trust the process. Art sucks until it doesn't, which is kind of a dramatic way to talk about it, but that's what I needed to tell myself. Like, and I would look at other people's pieces and see that, not that they got to a point where it sucked, but there was a point where it doesn't look like you can recover from it. It doesn't look like they can recover from it. And then they keep adding detail, they keep working on it, and it eventually gets to a point that looks good or for me, it gets to a point where I feel happy with it. Um, and having streaming, having a community that encourages me to keep going has been really helpful. I still hit it every time, like I still feel that wall, but it doesn't stop me anymore. Now I know, because it's happened to me so many times, if I just keep working on it and just adding the pieces that I know need to be added, it will get to a point that I'm proud of it pretty much every time. Meet Louie. And so I am loving this art discussion. I love everybody's perspectives on it and what we are all um, talking about. Um, just really makes me so happy. Tickles, is there any question that you would like to ask me or anything I, I can try to comment on? What would you do if you could freeze time? And what would, what's your favorite art piece that Soups has drawn? If I could freeze time, I would lay on the beach um, for so long and just sunbathe. I, don't, I mean, if it's not dark, we had some discussion of whether or not it would be dark if time froze. Um, I would just lay there and relax because I'm really big into relaxing. So I would just lay down and, and uh, have, a, have a good chill. My favorite piece that Soups has drawn would clearly be this portrait of me. Oops, waving with the wrong hand because it, it, it's so, it makes, like, look at my eyes. Like, I just feel so cute in it. And um, nobody has really drawn me very many times. So I do really like this, um, this picture of me. How do we feel about this? How do we feel about these clouds? I'm pretty happy with it. Like, overall, I think I'm pretty happy. It's not perfect, but I think that it's not bad this i hear about warm old warm milk and pickles ew where did the warm part come from <laughs> uh last week we had a pickle stream where i had all the pickle candies that i could find and well not just pickle candies it was pickle flavored snacks so candy yeah my milk bowl was also cold and at the end of it we did eat a pickle that had been soaked in milk it's for the memes you know you gotta do stuff for the memes Okay, we got a doodle redeem for Tracy. Oh snaps, can I have a little cow with some wheat sticking out of its mouth like a farmer saying sup? Yes, you sure may. I hate Pinterest. Like, okay. Why, how do I, oh, I don't know how to use Pinterest. I'm old. Well, I don't know, I'm young. I don't know if Pinterest is old or young. You're not even 30, you can't be old according to Gnome's metrics. True. I'm young until I hit 30 and then it's all over for me. <laughs> no, none of you are old. No one was trying to say that you're middle-aged when you hit 30, because he was saying he's middle-aged. He's wrong, don't worry about that. So strawberry milk cow, that would make it, that would make it look like this. What do we think about that, Tracy? Yes! <laughs> Please make us a holographic tiger. Oh, holograph. What says holographic to you? All right, let's see what we got here. Let's see what what sort of what sort of thing happens. I need a tiger reference so that I know what I'm doing. Tigers have these like cat eyes, right? And then he's got that. He's got here's his head. He kind of looks like a human face which is a little disturbing but like what do i do about that i have an idea for this i have an idea we're breaking all the rules on the june poster are there rules i make it all up as i go he kind of looks regal but he has like a weird face but that's okay 
There, that was not happening before, was it? Well, I tried. He's just, I'll make him a hologram like this. He's just shining off of this little disc at the bottom. He's, he's shining up from this point because he's holographic. Guys, I mean y'all, I mean chat, my friends, thank you all for hanging out with me today, for encouraging me with the cloud drawings and all the really good conversations we had. Um, it, it's been a really nice day. So thank you for being here. Thank you for your time um, and the joy and the laughter. It really means a lot to me. Okay, have a great night, my friends. Let's go. Let's go hang out with Lady. Good night. Look at you, strawberry cow. You make me go well. I love it when you mew my name. Can't you hear the bumblebee swarm? I'm watching your horn. I love it when you look my way.